so right now guys i'm in my itel mobile phones camera so first of all guys i will click on the more option and after that here you can see the first option of smart recognize so i'll click on smart recognize so it's saying tap to the object to apply ai mode so i will take a mobile phone in front of me and tap on it and right now it's saying that it is a mobile phone so if you don't know the name of any object you will take it in front of your Itel mobile phones camera and tap on it it will show you the name so for the second option we'll go on the pano option so this option is actually you will just click on the photo option and according to the arrow it's showing to the left so we'll turn to the left side and i will turn to the all the room and uh, here you can see that a photo has appeared in front of us right now you can see that the whole room is in front of us in a round shape so that's how you can take the photo through the pano option so after that guys we'll go to the third option of hdr so guys actually the hdr option is a very important option of your itel mobile phones camera because whenever you are taking the photos through hdr and for example if the light is low in your photos then it will take the light up in the photo and make it a perfect picture and if the light is too much in the picture then what it will do it will take down the light and make it a perfect picture so whenever you are taking the photos of buildings and natural sceneries i recommend you that you should keep the hdr option on at that time so guys for the next thing we'll go back and just click on the settings of our camera and after that guys here on the bottom you can see the grid option you will just turn it on and after turning it on we'll go back and here you will see all these lines here so actually if you want to take the pictures of a person in the center or any objects picture in the center you can take through these lines and if you want anything's picture on the side for example you want a person on the sides then you can measure through this tool so i will recommend you that if you want to take perfect pictures then you should use this tool so guys i hope this video was helpful to you so if you like the video then please hit the like and subscribe button on my channel thanks for watching